Hi, I'm Caden, the Charming Avenger, and on my channel, I'm learning how to bake. Now, I'm not learning how to bake just by watching a YouTube tutorial or following a recipe online. I'm learning how to bake by trying to recreate one of the challenges from Food Network's Baking Championships. We are in September, which means it is time for the Halloween Baking Championship. With everything that's going on in the world, I wasn't sure that they were actually going to be able to film the Baking Championship for Halloween this year. But to my surprise, they actually did, and it is airing now, and I am so excited to be back in the kitchen, learning how to bake, having a little bit of normality back in my life. We are gonna be doing things a little bit different this year. Uh, in June, I had a major knee surgery, and uh, I still can't stand as long as I'd like to. So I'm going to be separating the baking and decorating into two separate days. So Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be watching the Food Network's Halloween Baking Championship. Right after that, I'm going to be getting into the kitchen and I'm going to start baking. So if it's a cake, if it's pastries, whatever it is, I'm going to do that all on Monday night. Then on Tuesday, I'm going to save that day for decorating and creating and doing everything that I need to do to kind of wrap it up. So uh, I'm excited about this one. It's going to be a very big challenge for me because uh, we all know my decorating skills are not good and the Halloween Baking Championship has a lot of intricate decorations and some of them are creepier beyond belief. Uh, tonight's episode is a haunted house theme with a sub theme of your scary, your, your, your biggest fear, right? So my biggest fears, uh, I, have, I have two of them actually. One of them is spiders and the other one is clowns. Now, uh, throughout the whole episode, I was thinking like, well, I can do clowns. Like, I, I can do that, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. But the more I thought about it, the more freaked out I got. <laughs> uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't decorate it. A clown. I just can't do it. I can't do the nose and makeup. No, I just I just can't do it. So I'm going to be doing a uh, vanilla cake with um, a strawberry jam and a balsamic vinegar uh, drizzle uh, on the on the strawberries, uh, and then I'm going to create a house. And on top of that, there's going to be a spider web and spiders and ugh, I'm gonna have to touch them, and I'm I'm not thrilled about that. Um, now, they are doing it a little bit different this year. There's not a uh, preheat and then a, a main heat or a small bake and a big bake. Um, they're all doing just one big bake, one big main heat this year. Uh, during the main heat, they get a trick or a treat or a trick and a treat. Uh, tonight's episode, they did a trick and a treat. So their trick was that they had to create a working door on the haunted house uh, as as part of the, the like sub challenge, right? And then the treat was the balsamic vinaigrette. Now my wife, Allison, who is going to be tasting everything that I bake, once again, uh, does not handle vinegar very well at all. So I'm going to be just doing a little bit of the balsamic vinaigrette uh, because I don't want to kill her. So. Uh, so I'm going to incorporate it so it will be in the challenge, but it's not going to be as boom in your face as like they did on the challenge. Uh, I am excited. I am so glad that you're back with me uh, for another a wonderful baking championship. And it's time. Let's, let's do this. So tonight we are just doing the vanilla cakes and then they are going to hang out in the fridge for uh, about 12 to 13 hours. And then we'll do the decorating tomorrow. You know what that means, it's time to bake. All right, so I am back, it is day two. The cakes are done and they look fantastic. So today we're gonna work on the frostings and the, the decorating. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because my decorating skills are not all that great and I have to force myself to make spiders. But here we go. So uh, day two, this is the day that we're going to be using the strawberry and basil um, uh, preserve kind of mixture thing inside the cake. 
Uh, it's all going to come together today, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so let's jump right in and start on the first frosting that we're going to be doing. is just a simple American buttercream uh, that's going to be used for crumb coating and uh, for the dam around the, the inside of the cake. Uh, I am going to double this recipe and hopefully freeze some or just leave it out for next week so that I have uh, kind of a base already set and ready to go for next week. And then we're going to jump into the Italian meringue buttercream or Italian buttercream uh, where I'm going to have to boil the sugar again, get all of that stuff taken care of, and then on to the decorating and the carving and whew. It's a lot to do tonight, but I'm gonna take some breaks. I've got a chair nearby that I can sit on while I'm decorating. It's gonna be fun. Uh, so here we go, let's, let's do it. All right, so I learned something very, very important just now. When a recipe calls for unsalted butter, just buy unsalted butter. Don't use the salted butter that you already have because you will be able to tell a difference. Um, my Italian buttercream is a little on the salty side. I added a little extra sugar to kind of help balance out a little bit, um, but it's a tad salty. Uh, I mean, salt is, is good on, on sweet things so maybe it'll work on the cake we'll see uh so yeah i've got all of my frostings done that was actually a lot quicker and a lot easier than i remembered it so that's good now is on to the difficult part now i have to assemble the haunted house uh and then i have to uh construct the spiders out of the leftover cake to put on said haunted house and go from there so on to the next. So the cake is crumb coated and in the refrigerator. It's gonna sit in there for about a half an hour or so, maybe a little bit longer, just so we can get cool again, um, get that crumb coat nice and stuck onto the sides of it or whatever they say. Um, in the meantime, I am going to start trying to create these little spider things. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do it yet. Uh, there was uh, an idea of ganache in my head and uh, a couple of other ideas, but I'm really not sure yet. So I'm just gonna take a second think about it and then uh, I'll figure it out. But so far, so good. The cake came together really nice. It's nice and square-ish. 
So I think it's gonna make a good haunted house theme. Uh, I've got to work on my ideas for the color scheme. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do yet. I was thinking maybe a, a grayish green, um, but that might be a little difficult for me. So I'm gonna see what I can figure out and um, go from there when it comes to frosting in the design. Uh, as for now, let's make some spiders. All right, so the cake is done, and I think it came out really, really good. Um, so I'm gonna lift it up so you can see. I've got the door here. I've got a spider on the side and a spider on the top. It's a little difficult to see just because of the lighting in here. It's not that great, um, but it's done, and I'm super excited. It it worked. Like I can't believe I did this. I was sitting here and I was actually piping on the like shingles on the side and I was like, oh, I remember how to do this. Like, oh man, this is great. I remember, I remember. So I'm really excited that I was able to use techniques that I used a lot during, uh, I believe it was the holiday baking championship or the kids baking championship um, because it's been a long time since I've done it. So to be able to do it now, uh, fresh right out of the gate, it, it's really cool. I'm very excited. Uh, so anyways, I am going to show Allison this. She is not going to be uh, tasting it this year on camera. Uh, so it's going to be me just cutting into it, showing you what it's like, giving it a taste, and seeing if I can tell uh, a difference between what I did last year and what I did this year to see if I have improved at all. So it's going to be testing my palate a little bit. I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring in Allison. I'm going to have her take a look at it. And uh, yeah. We're gonna try it. I'm I'm super excited. I hope that it tastes good. We'll see. <laughs> 